the idea of how long is it gonna take you to learn to code and actually ending your first development job. I've got asked so many times for the exact same questions from my mentees and I hate to hate to hate to tell them that for me, I think that the answers to this question, it really is depends. In today's video, I actually really wanted to break this topic down into small parts for me to explain to you how long exactly is it gonna take you to learn to code. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software developer living in New York City. So in this channel, you are going to learn so much about web development, learning how to code, and all things related to tech. If you are interested in this type of topics, maybe consider subscribing because there's a ton of videos just like this. First and the most most important question before you even getting into this topic is you got to ask yourself why do you want it to learn to code this question is really important are you trying to learn to code because you're trying to switch your career or are you trying to learn to code because you want it to advance in your career or are you just a curious learner that learning to code is something that you always wanted to explore and learn a new skill. Now, knowing your why is extremely important because based off the reasons why you wanted to learn to code and what kind of learner that you are, that is going to determine the time commitment that you are going to learn to code as well as what kind of methods or route you're gonna take to get there. Number one is for those of you who are thinking about changing your career. You're learning to code because you wanted to switch your career 360 degrees. And for those of you who are thinking about changing your career, that's not something that is easy because you have to consider learning to code as well as getting really good with interviews to be competitive with other candidates who are also interviewing on the same role. You need to consider this journey as more like a sprint rather than a marathon because you're probably committing into eight hours a day or even more to learn to code as well as building projects for your resume. Well, let's be a little bit more realistic. Not everyone has, you know, the bandwidth to quit your job, not paying bills, and just full time enrolling into a coding bootcamp or just full time self taught to be a developer, right? So, what I would assume is most of the people who currently have a job and thinking about a career switch are the people who actually is thinking about learning to code on the side when you are not at work. I would say you would probably need to dedicate it around 5 to 18 hours per week into learning to code. If you really divide it, you know, how many hours per day that you should be dedicated into learning to code, it would be more than two hours a day. So the timelines can be really varies from people to people, it really depending on how much time that you spend learning to code and also how often and how fast you can learn. If you have very limited time and you want to switch your career as soon as possible and you have at least eight hours per day to learn to code, what I would recommend is actually looking into a coding bootcamp or a coding program. Obviously, I am not saying that you know, enrolling into a coding bootcamp is the only way. There are so many other ways that you can also achieve the same result. One of the ways that I would say is definitely check out some of the online resources and look for some developer roadmaps that is going to help you. I've already done the research for you. I would highly, highly, highly recommend to check out the playlist of videos out in this channel. It will definitely help you a ton. Now, I would say that for self-taught developers, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that this is a marathon for you. Unlike someone who is 
having that eight hours per day to learn to code, enrolling into a coding bootcamp, or just learning at a full time speed, you are somebody that requires a lot of consistency. The more often that you're gonna practice how to code, the better you're gonna absorb all those learning materials. And I would say that no matter if you're doing it full time or part time, it still takes about approximately six months to a whole year to learn and actually landing a developer job. Number two is that you choose to learn to code because you're thinking about advancing in your career. Now, not necessarily that you wanted to switch your career, but knowing how to program is actually going to help you with your job. Now, I can definitely relate to the scenarios because this happens to me before. I used to be a data analyst working at a tech startup back in the days, and one of my natural progression of becoming a data scientist is by learning Python and try to automate some stuff. So if you find yourself very similar to my case, I would say that you are probably not gonna spend, you know, a lot of time to learn that particular language. And oftentimes I would see learners like this to be dedicated maybe a week or a few months to learn a specific programming language or a specific tech stack. And I would say that for your career advancement, you probably wanted to apply whatever that you learned directly into your job, so which allows you to actually learn a little bit faster and I think that there are so many people are learning to code for so many different reasons and especially for learners like this you might be in either a data field or a QA role or even a HR department and if you are in one of those jobs and you're looking for automations or looking for analytics and data analytics to help you to improve your jobs, I would say that considering learning Python as the programming language for you. So for those of you who are in a more artsier field, like if you are a UX designer or a copywriter, I would highly suggest to look into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, like more things that are in the front end. And I would definitely recommend to look into learning the programming language in JavaScript. And you might ask, well, Vicky, what about if I'm just a casual learner? I'm just curious about programming. Not necessarily that I am super excited or have a goal in mind that I want to become a programmer, but I just wanted to learn a new skills. If you are very curious and you just wanted to learn to code, I would say at least spend a hundred hours to learn to code. And the reason for that is because I've seen too, way too many people falling in love of the idea of becoming a programmer instead of actually thinking if this is perfect for them. So the best bet is actually start learning the most basic and fundamentals about programming concepts first and see if you really do enjoy it. One thing that I would say is once you start learning either from Free Code Cam or Code Academy or some free websites, um, you will start to get a better understanding about just software engineering, about programming, and that allows you to really try to figure out if this is good for you or not. At the end of the day, this isn't just a job. This isn't just a career. This is a lifestyle that you're choosing. I would highly, highly, highly recommend you to check out this video over here because it talks about a bunch of dark sides about programming where I spill out the teas about the dark sides of being a web developer, a software engineer. And if you are more curious about my day-to-day -day life and what I do as a software developer, I've got other videos about day in the life of a software engineer in this channel as well. Make sure to check out those videos and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Adios.